All right, thanks for joining. We're going to make a quick video on how to make a display setting in Rhino that looks like SketchUp. So here's our, our display model, and this is what we're going to be going for. Let's see how close we can get. So in the Rhino dialog, we can click File and then Properties. And then uh, when you first open it, you'll get all these, and you have to click this View button. If you're on Mac, there's a separate navigation to get here look into how to do that. So you can click on this, the, the display modes here and then click on rendered and then let's copy this. Okay, copy of rendered. Um, so we can rename that. Let's just call it SKP and let's try to make this thing look like SketchUp. Go down on SKP. You'll notice, um, let's show curves. Um, we don't need to show this stuff. Go flat shading. Just give it one more uh, curve width surfaces and then this is important edge thickness we're going to start a little high we might even want to bring that down so curve meshes clipping planes okay shadows okay so never cast shadows um, let's get this this clips cleaner um, and let's go sharper shadows all right oh let's go to other settings Result alignment, open video. Okay, let's just try this out, see how it looks. Go to, click down here, go to SKP. All right, so notice everything's gray so far. Um, but yeah, we wanna make it look like that. So um, we're still gonna need some, some work to do on the shadows. So we can go back here, file, properties go back to our SKP
All right, so you can see that there's a lot of customization with these display settings and also customization in the materials that you use that change how those are going to display. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of the process of going through and editing the viewport uh, to get the view that you want it to look like. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. Uh, stay tuned for more and thanks for joining.